guys, welcome to the Corona Public Library's Baby Sign Language Workshop. If you do not know who I am, my name is Miss Ashley, and I'll be leading you through our signs today. signs all about pets. We've got two signs to practice. We'll be practicing cat and dog. So we're going to go ahead and take our two pinch your fingers to prepare for cat, just like you're pinching. Bring them close to your face and pinch your whiskers. Cat, cat, cat. Perfect. You guys did great. Our next sign today is dog. So what you're going to do is take your dominant hand and bring it towards your hip like you're calling your dog. So just go ahead and slap it. Dog, dog, dog. Great, you guys did awesome. All right, now that we've practiced our signs for today, we're gonna go ahead and read some stories to build on those skills. All right, without further ado, here's our first one. All right, guys, now that we've practiced our signs, let's move on to our stories. This first story, we're gonna be practicing cat. And that story is Catnap by Tony Yuli. Cat is sleepy, he wants to nap. Kitten is curious, she wants to play. With cat. I know, says kitten, let's play hide and seek. Okay, cat replies, I'll hide, no peeking. Cat hides up high. Kitten finds him. Cat hides down low. Kitten finds him again. Cat hides in the dark. Kitten turns on the light. Cat hides and hides and hides and hides. But Kitten always finds him. Can you find Cat? Kitten can. Cat is tired of hiding. Cat is tired. He's going to take a nap far away from Kitten. And that was the end of our first story. All right, guys, our second and last story today has to do with dogs. So we're gonna be practicing our dog sign. That story is The Bedtime Book for Dogs by Bruce Littlefield. Come. Stay. I want to tell you a story. I think you'll like it. It's about a treat. And a good dog. What? You've heard it before? You know how it ends? Well, should I tell you again? Okay, lie down. Once upon a time, a very good dog wanted to play, but his friend was busy. He fetched his leash 
he could carry it himself. And he went out the door, he could open it himself. He stopped at the corner, looked both ways, then crossed the street. The good dog walked to the park and rolled in the grass. The good dog found a stick, but there was no friend to throw it. The good dog spotted a squirrel, but there was no friend to tell. The good dog did his business, but there was no friend to say, good dog. The good dog decided to go home. It was no fun without his friend. He left the park and crossed the street. He ran as fast as he could. You came home, his friend said. You're a good dog. And then the good dog got a treat. And that was the end of our second story. Thank you for joining us today here at the Baby Sign Language Workshop. We'll see you again next month. Bye.